Taipei, a bustling metropolis in the heart of Asia and capital of Taiwan. This is where most of the chips come from that power our phones, computers, VR headsets and tech gadgets in general. And it is not just home to HTC, but many other huge tech companies like for example Asus and Acer. As a VR content creator that is currently based here, I was intrigued to receive a message from the Acer Spatial Labs team, the department that deals with immersive tech at Acer. They invited me to the Acer headquarters to show me something exciting, they said. Now they did not have to ask twice for that. The team had been working on 3D displays that do not require glasses to see 3D. These displays are equipped with two cameras that track the user's eyes and send different pictures to each eye, resulting in perfect 3D even when the user moves their head. They showed off their business displays first, which are meant to be used by designers and 3D modelers. These displays were already impressive, with 4K resolution and a perfect 3D image that not only showed depth, but reached out of the screen. The Asus software could interface with all of the common 3D modeling apps to show off the various 3D file types in, well, 3D. Great for 3D modelers that want to show off their work to clients or to check out their designs themselves in 3D. Without a doubt, this tech would also be perfect to attract customers at some point of sales to show off certain products and these business screens already come with the VESA mounts to make this happen. Interestingly, they also showed me how they use AI to show 2D content in 3D. They asked me to pull up any of my YouTube videos, which I did. The AI then worked out depth information from the 2D video and presented it to me in pretty amazing 3D, even though I had not recorded my video with a stereoscopic camera at all. Pretty impressive stuff. But then the Acer team told me we were about to check out what they actually want to show me the main event of today's meeting, so to speak. Their tech used for gamers. Yes, they are now doing the only sensible thing and use their tech to allow us to play our favorite PC games in perfect glasses-less 3D. They showed me two products, a 4K 15.6 inch monitor called Acer Spatial Labs View and a gaming PC called Predator Helios 3000 Spatial Labs Edition. And what they showed me truly blew me away. Glasses-free 3D gaming is here right now, and it's pretty sweet. So how does this all work? The Acer team told me that game devs actually use 3D models in their games already, even when those games are meant to be played on 2D screens. So all the 3D information is actually baked right into them anyways. This 3D data only needs to be freed and that is exactly what the new Acer hardware in combination with their software does. Last year, they introduced their 3D Plus technology, which already gave games more depth and was already very immersive. However, there was still only an approximation of perfect 3D objects and still had imperfections because actually no second camera angle was used to generate the second picture. However, that has changed with Acer's brand new 3D Ultra technology. The new tech perfectly shows off those 3D objects with visible perspective that extends the gaming world inside and even out of the display because now, just like for VR, a second camera renders that second picture that is needed for a truly stereoscopic view. I played God of War, one of the most beautiful games out there in 3D Ultra and once you've seen how that looks, you do not want to go back. I was totally blown away. It is such a huge difference. And God of War was just the perfect game to show off that 3D goodness. It was not just about death of the scenes, but objects even reached out of the screen, just like how we know it from 3D cinema. I was playing an autumn scene and leaves were falling from the trees right into the Space Lab's office. At least it felt like it. It was a revelation that I only felt like when I would first try it out a VR headset. Obviously, VR is still more immersive, but suddenly seeing a perfect 3D image on screen without having to wear any glasses, oh well, that is quite exciting. The future, I would say, at least for these kind of screens. 
we could turn on and off the 3D mode with a push of a button. And I did that several times just to see what I had to bear with all those sad 2D years. The effect is staggering, even to someone like me who is used to VR games. This is a wonderful compromise between flat gaming and VR. And yes, even me as a VR buff who cannot stand 2D games anymore because VR is just so much better, could see myself go back to playing on a screen like this. I also tried the beautiful Kina Bridge of Spirits and the results were equally astounding. You don't want to go back to flat standard screens at all. If you're not ready to shell out the around 1k asking price for that screen, do not try it. So if you're a gamer and want to experience this, here's what you gotta do. You need to get that display, hook it up to your gaming PC and that's it. Or if you don't have a gaming PC, you can also directly go for their Predator Helios laptop that has the tech baked in. Then download the Asus software that makes the magic happen and the games that you already own from Steam or any other game stores will play in perfect 3D, no glasses needed. If they belong to the supported games, that is, but more on that later. Having that tech readily available right now in a consumer product that you can actually buy for just around 1,100 US dollars for the Spatial Labs view screen is just incredible. Once more people actually get to see and experience this, I think chances are high this tech will very soon become a standard for playing video games if you do not want to put on VR glasses. The technology is just so good and from my hands and eyes on experience, actually completely mature. Not all of your Steam library games will automatically work though. Asus spends a considerable amount of resources to support a growing library of games that they optimize for this tech. They still need to go hands-on to make sure menus and other non-3D items make the transition to 3D. However, you can already find games like God of War, Forza Horizon 5 and 4, The Witcher 3, as well as many other fan favorites. Every month, Acer adds around five more games to the list of supported games, and they are committed to keep this coming to build a thriving ecosystem of 3D games that work with their screens. And again, the exciting part is that this is not some future talk. The tech is available for you right now. The screen is called Spatial Labs View and as mentioned cost 1100 US dollar. It is a 4K screen that you could even use as a mobile display with 5 hours of battery life if you want to bring it out as a second screen for your laptop. I'm intrigued and cannot wait to get my hands on one of them. Overall, I'm impressed with what I saw at the Acer Spatial Labs and I believe this truly could become the standard for glasses-free 3D gaming very soon. I will for sure keep you up to date and will show you more about this here on MRTV. A big thank you to Acer and the Spatial Labs team for inviting me to their headquarters and for showing me this truly exciting technology. If you want to know more about the supported games and the tech in general, check out the links provided below. And that's everything that I got for this video. Now I want to hear from you. Could this be the perfect compromise between VR and 2D flat gaming? Do let us know in the comment section below. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, do that now. Click the bell button so that you don't miss any of our videos. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.